video. So today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys through my favorite cable exercises. We're gonna be doing about six here, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. We're on the road to 35,000 subs, so I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for changing my life, giving me an opportunity to show you guys my life and show you what I do to change my body and what I've done with my clients. It's just been really, really awesome just to you know, work with you guys. And um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. You guys do that for me. I can keep making these videos for you. So without further ado, let's get to these cable exercises. You can do these on any cable machine. I'm using my tonal here at home. That full review is still coming soon. I'm just running a few more tests. So it's gonna be good. Hope you guys are excited. And uh, yeah, man, let's get to this workout. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna get started with these movements. The first one up is an alternating bench press, all right? So with the cables, the cool things, you're gonna keep your arms straight up and alternate with each arm. Take it down and let's get to it. So right now, on my tonal, the weight is off. I'm gonna push the button. The weight's gonna turn on. We're gonna press up and we're gonna alternate. Keep one hand up, keeps that stimulus in your chest. Put the weight on. Control that weight. It's one of my favorite chest exercises to kind of even out your chest. Remember guys, when you're training, you want to make sure that you hit both sides of everything equally. And when you only do barbell lifts, one side will always take over and dominate. Almost there. I do 10 on each arm, so about 20 reps. Right. All right, now we're gonna move on to an incline fly. So I'm gonna move this bench out of the way. So incline fly, gonna hit that upper chest. Let me put a little something challenging on here weight wise so you don't look crazy. Y'all gonna say 15's light, but y'all ain't never used one of these, so you don't know, it's a little different. All right, turn this weight on. Nice wide base, lift those arms up, squeezing your chest at the top, okay? Really feel your chest get tight at the top. Do about 12 reps with these. Not too difficult, just control the weight. I say not too difficult, but you see me struggling. What's going on? Ooh, Ooh almost there. All right, I'm gonna try to do about 12 of those, folks. All right. So moving on to three, one of my favorites is single arm bench press. We're gonna go back down to the bench. I'm gonna have the camera come right above me. We're just gonna hold one arm out and press, really emphasizing getting that fullness, feeling that contraction in your chest, right? Bring the bench back into the mix. We're gonna do both arms, but I'm gonna show you my left arm first. All right guys, we're gonna go single arm here, so stabilize your core and press up. You can see your chest kind of ball up. Really feel that tension. Keeping your core tight, you're gonna feel quite the difference, Kim. So I like to do 12 on each arm here. You, know, you guys saw me doing the alternating press, but with that one, one side was engaged the whole time. Now we're just relaxed. Like I said, these are some of my favorites. You don't have to do them in this order. I just encourage you to add some of them to your workout. Let's hit that other side. All right. Control that weight, folks. Not about going fast or even super heavy at times. It's all about the speed in which you're lifting, the food you're eating, and how dedicated you are. That's how we get it done. All right. So, we're gonna move on to the decline fly now. So, you have to adjust the arms of your cable machine. Make sure it's tall enough for you. This one was pre-measured for me in terms of height. So, I'm gonna go through here. All right. Put a little something on it. Now we're gonna go decline fly. I like to get one foot in front, nice wide angle. And we get in there. So this is working the bottom part of your chest, okay? Some of you asked me in my last chest workout video how to work the bottom of your chest. Decon flies are a great way to get it to uh, pop. You can really feel it. Coming 
come down to you feel that squeeze at the bottom. With these movements, I recommend doing three to four sets, 12 to 15 reps, super simple. All right. Now we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna take it down to the ground. I'm been really into presses where, I'm really into presses where I take stability out of it. Now we're gonna come down. You got a single arm press from the ground. You know, this is one of my, another one of my favorites. One arm out, get some good balance. Press. If you're sick of your normal, traditional chest workout, try some of these. On any cable machine in your gym, you don't have gravity on your side, you're just in a kneeling position, and you're pressing out. Maybe about 10 reps or so. All right, and go to the other side. Ooh. I always gotta hit both, you know what I mean? There we go. See that? Really feel it. Tighten up. This is how you're gonna isolate that chest. Pretty much take everything else out of it. 10 reps here as well. Ooh. Tough, 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 tough. All right. So this brings me to my absolute favorite exercise on a cable machine, but you've made it this far, you deserve to know. This is a tonal exclusive. This is the exercise that got me started using this machine, was one of the reasons I had to get one, and that is a cable barbell bench press. And I'll let you know why it's tough. If you've ever trained with a bamboo bar, or any sort of thin bar where it's a little unstable, you know it really hits those little muscles that we never really find a way to hit. So for you guys, I'm gonna go a little heavy so you guys can see the instability and how it feels. Take it up. You guys are gonna laugh at my uh, my 140 here. The weight's off right now, that's why I can move around it like this. All right. All right guys, so now we've got the bar set up, everything's all good to go. With the total, there's a little remote button that you can put on your bar so you can turn it on and off with your finger. So if you guys are wondering how I turn the weight on here, it's gonna be with this button. All right, 140 feels like, to me, I'm gonna say like 200, so it's gonna be tough. You're gonna see me rock a little bit, but this is one of the things that really help improve my regular bench press. This year I started out at 275 and ended up getting up to about 370 pounds at my best this year, okay? And practicing on here really got the job done. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, sniffing it up. We hear it. Oh. Uh-oh. I accidentally pushed the button again, guys, to turn it off, but now we're gonna go for real this time. Go. safe to you guys, I know, but it's not. Oh, but that instability, boy. Oh. Oh. I was gonna go for 12, that was super ambitious. Oh, that was tough though. All right, so guys, that's my six favorite cable exercises. They're fun, as you can see, got a pretty good pump. I only ended up doing two rounds. I did the first round just to make sure I had everything set up. That was the second round. You can see you got a pretty good chest pump, you know, we, we get a little something there. So I appreciate you guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment, I don't know what that means, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, we're gonna keep this thing going. I'm gonna do a few polls on YouTube this week so you guys can let me know what you wanna see more of, you know, what you guys are interested in. Hope you guys enjoy this workout, incorporate this into your next chest day, or put all of these together. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.